In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's turn to Mary and ask for Mary's prayers and her blessings as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let's praise the Blessed Trinity. Praise the Blessed Trinity as we say, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All God's saints and saints, pray for us. Happy Fourth of July. And in this wonderful day in which we thank God for our freedom, our independence, why don't we thank God today? Let's spend some time thanking God. And we can thank God for many things. Let's thank God for five things. First of all, let's thank God for life, that God has given us life. He's given us natural life. Thanks be to God. He's also given many of us supernatural life. And that life came to us in the moment that we were baptized. When you were baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son <clears throat> and of the Holy Spirit, you entered into the family of the Blessed Trinity. So give thanks to the Lord for his good for his mercy endures forever. Second, <clears throat> let us thank God for the fact that we have faith. We have faith in God. If we have faith in God, all is possible. You remember that movie that came out a few years ago, Little Boy? Little Boy was able, through his prayers, to move the mountain. Thank God for your faith, the faith that can move the mountains. However, do not take your faith for granted, or try to cultivate your faith, try to strengthen your faith, try to fortify your faith by studying your faith and living your faith and loving your faith. One of the best ways in which we can grow in our faith is to share our faith with others. Ask God, ask the Holy Spirit, who is the person that you can share your faith with? You will not become impoverished, but rather enriched by giving your faith. Number three, thank God. Thank God for the gift of the Eucharist. The word Eucharist means thanksgiving. We can go to Mass. We can participate in Mass. We can receive Holy Communion. Thank God for the fact that you can receive the body, the blood, the soul, the divinity of Jesus Christ. Give thanks to the Lord for his good for his mercy endures forever. Number four, thank God for this beautiful book. Thank God for friendship with Jesus. This is a wonderful book. It's in Sino Jesu. And I invite all of you to read this. The essence of this book is that like St. John the Evangelist, who you can see, right here on our Lord's right. We're all called to be like St. John the Evangelist. We're all called to enter into this deep friendship with Christ. The beloved disciple John, he rested on the heart of Christ. And he heard the sacred heart of Jesus beating with love. You should thank God that Jesus has called you to be his best friend. But like faith, 
cultivate this friendship with Jesus. How was that to be done? Very simply, by spending time and talking to Jesus as your best friend. Talk to him in the morning. Talk to him at midday. Talk to him before you go to bed. Tell him what's going on in your heart. In your heart. As Peter says, cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. And finally, here we have a picture of St. Anne with Mary. Be thankful for the fact that you are not a spiritual orphan, but rather that you are the son or daughter of the Blessed Virgin Mary. What a great grace. What a great grace to know that we belong to the family of God. And God is our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Jesus, Jesus is our older brother through baptism. But we belong to a family in which Mary is our mother. For that reason, St. Louis de Montfort, the great Marian saint who gave us true devotion to Mary, he says, he who does not have Mary as mother does not have God as our father. So my friends, on this day in which we're celebrating our Independence Day, we're celebrating our liberty, recognize the true freedom. The true freedom is the freedom that comes from being united with God, the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. So, through the intercession of Mary, the angels and saints, may God bless you with peace and joy and eternal life in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.